particularly you, Che, who sits next to him all the time, would be the most vulnerable. Che, we need to bring back global confidence, solidarity, and stop the panic immediately. To achieve that, I would like to propose to the DG through you, Che, to immediately convene a global meeting of the WHO staff and experts in China, especially in Wuhan. We can all appreciate the most charming yellow crane tower built almost 2,000 years ago, with very few tourists. If convened in Beijing, it would be the best time to visit the Great Wall and Forbidden City without too many tourists and at low cost. Chair, with my wife's permission, I am happy to pledge half of my annual pension to support this meeting and join in with my own expense. Thank you, Chair. It looks like right now, they're the ones that admit that we don't have control of it, and we're eight weeks into this. And the experts say, hey, if this thing's not, if the quarantine doesn't work, it just spreads, right? And the mathematics is it doubles every 6.2 days. Well, Dr. Gabriel Lung, just his mathematics says it's going to run through at least May. That's over a billion people. So the question gets to be, we have to have all information out there. And we have to have it all down. So it doesn't have just to be rumor. It doesn't have to be people saying, hey, I saw a report here or here or here. Senator Tom Cotton sums it up. It's incumbent upon the Chinese Communist Party to have the world's experts get into Wuhan, talk to the experts. You know, they have a new major general in the PLA. Uh, I think her name is Wen Che, right? Wen Che, who's the senior, Shen Wei, who's the senior uh, biological weapons expert. For, for China, is now in charge of the situation there. She has to invite in the world so we get all the information and find out what, what, what is actually going on there. We need to get our understanding of this virus and we needed to do it today. Mm -hmm. And why do we need to do it? We need to do it to help save the Chinese people of all this immense suffering they're going through, right? The psychological damage, the scars. China is such a, uh, a, a society built upon the family and part of the part when people, when your ancestors pass away, your grieving process and the burial rites and everything that goes is, is endemic to thousands of years of Chinese society. And now when you get, when they go door to door, you know, when Vice Premier Sun, you know, her mandate, she goes door to door and they knock on your door and take your temperature. If they deem you have the virus, you go to a quarantine center, not to a hospital. And what you do is your family never sees you again. You leave through the back to an ambulance when you're dead and they take you to cremate you and your ashes are just then thrown somewhere, right? The psychological scars on the Chinese people are gonna be very deep because of this. So this means it's incumbent upon the CCP and I will tell the CCP and they know that I'm one of their sworn enemies, but they have to understand something. If they continue to suppress information it's, the world is going to unite every nation in the world and say, these guys are dangerous. They're a danger to the Chinese people, right? They're a danger to the, state, to the country of China, and they're dangerous to the world, and they must be removed.